Hi there, Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your August 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from Innerstars by Chrissy.com. Now, for this month, I'm doing things um, differently, wherein I'm using a new deck right now. It's one of my most, um, the deck that I've been really eyeing on, the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Um, this tarot seems a little bit more of the graphic side because it depicts a lot of sexual scenes but um, I feel that this is really one of the most you know um, the deck that you usually use for love readings because each and every card um, they are they have their own meanings and the way that you read them can be different it's not going to be the very the very much same way that you used to do a reading with you know a normal rider weight that i usually do so i will try my best to do this reading you know based upon um the meaning of the tarot of sexual magic deck and see where that leads us but i'm very excited with that uh, i've been eyeing it and finally bought it and if you are you know um someone who likes to do tarot reading and if this fancies you i'll you know a link down below the description where you can purchase it it's on amazon or <laughs> yeah so um yeah for aries without a fit further ado let's get on with the reading with aries now we're starting off with the knight of swords knight of swords as your first card of the deck and the knight of swords here has a lot to do with being the hunter and you know taming taming someone so i feel that with you this is the card that is representing you it could be that you are in a situation right now we're in it could be that in the past you have been just going on with the flow and just letting life happen to you but you are in a situation right now wherein you are feeling that you need to change something you need to do something take action on something like being a hunter like you know you need to do some form of planning you want to take action there is a goal that you are thinking about it could be a particular person it could be with a particular relationship it could even be fixing something in a relationship you know you need to do something you need to take action on something and it could be in a harsh way it could be you know in a subtle way but you know there is something that you have to do and it has to make a difference basically this is what this card is all about it is being crossed over by the ace of chalices so ace of chalices is all about the relationship and the bonding and the union so this being crossed over is telling us basically that you really really need to do something about a relationship or it could be that you know things have been quite stagnant in your love life and you need to you know to make some change regardless what that may be it could be something you know adventurous and very sexual as well <laughs> that kind of energy because um the foundation card of the reading we do have the ace of wands here so you're definitely looking for a new beginning of that can rise up your passion because we do have a lot of fire energy for the month of august and yeah and for you guys you need to i kind of feel that you know you are being like a literally of a hunter like you know you want to engage with people you want to try something out try something new for the heck of it or maybe here you know it could be the energies in place because we do have a lot of that aquarius energy going on leo energy going on which is all about you know all about the 11th house which is what's being activated with our astro dice here which is all about our 11th house and because we do have here jupiter 
in Capricorn and if you are you know if you are aware of what's going on astrologically wise you know this is also making some form of aspect wherein um, there is going to be a Saturn square Mars in Aries going on so with that in link I kind of feel that you know there are certain relationships right now that are coming in of importance that maybe it's a new relationship if you're single maybe you are you know wanting to be in a relationship wanting to meet someone that kind of thing because we do have an, a lot of new beginnings energy right here or it could be that you are wanting to reconcile with someone that you have not talked to in such a long time for whatever reasons but something needs to to get fixed something needs to get sorted out right there uh, but we are seeing here that you know because the top of the reading we do have this a uh no not the ace this is the two of pentacles basically and the two of pentacles you know with this deck of tarot sexual magic it gives a very uneasy feeling you know it's like in a normal deck of the rider way it's like juggling two things at the same time and when we convert this in a love reading in tarot sexual magic this is basically telling us about some form of uneasiness and feeling uh, like you think you wanted to do it you wanted to make a change you're thinking about it you're drawn to do to taking action and maybe to to bond with someone to unite with someone have some form of union with someone but there is a form of hesitancy and maybe um, you know your ego is telling you to say no but your heart is telling you to say yes or vice versa you know there is some form of something it, a part of you that is making you feel undecided but we do have the full card here at the future position of the reading we're in you know it's, it's basically telling us that eventually though you are going to be guided to to fully take action because there is a lot of changes in, in this reading it's like yes you are hesitant right now but for some reason you are going to take a leap of faith and this could also be a situation wherein uh, it could be a message of some kind telling you to just surrender you know give in if you cannot help thinking about someone or you cannot help thinking of taking action into someone or something or whatever it could be just a, t a signal to not repress the energy that you are wanting to do and just go and do it because the more you repress the more things become difficult for you and you know it will just be harder for you to let go of things so it might as well just give in to your own feelings give in to your own innate um, um, energy that kind of kind of thing also the fool can be a signal wherein maybe you are going to venture into something um taking a, a new action a new venture travel basically it's like telling us that if you have been in a stagnant phase and you are hesitating because with the top of the reading of the hesitant card it is telling us that you are still going to take action regardless of the risk regardless of you know of the shame or your ego eventually you are going to take action and this is something that you you have to overcome um eventually because there is an energy here where in it just it's just the time to do so i kind of feel that for a lot of aries out there this is going to be a huge beginning in terms of your love life it does not mean that you are going to begin a relationship it's just that there's going to be progress and movement when it comes to relationship and it doesn't always have to be you know someone from the past or someone that you 
that you have right now it could be anything really it's just that you know there's going to be a zest of adventure some form of new new energy coming in it could be with a, your current partner maybe you wanted to try something new that can you know get things going for the two of you but for the most part i kind of feel that you know this might possibly be someone that you haven't um, had any contact with or could be someone new i mean i don't know <laughs> this is just a general reading anyway so it's going to be very different to say specifically what this is all about but with the other person card that we have over here we have the chariot card and the chariot card is all about you know overcoming battles you know it's the card of forward movement and forward change as well so with this with this reading i kind of feel that you know eventually you are going to stop thinking and deliberating on what to do and you're just gonna go and do it because i kind of feel that you actually need to take this step because there's so much silence and stagnancy in your life recently to a point wherein things are not becoming healthy for you essentially and maybe for the other person as well so some form of change definitely needs to happen and we do also have here the the judgment card which is you know this is basically a card we're in you know if something has been stagnant for way too long it's like you know this is the time to it's like a karmic a karmic timing of some sort going on over here but at the same time since this is in the position of your hopes and fears you're also fearing if things doesn't work out you know that kind of energy but this is actually a very positive omen we're in you know following your emotions right now following what you feel following what you truly want to do will take you to the right path our future card over here is we have the the page of swords yeah the page of swords now this is a card about being bitter some form of bitterness on the horizon or with the way you communicate so maybe you are going to try to communicate with someone or someone tries to communicate with you and i kind of feel that you know yes you have a lot of passion you do want to change the situation you want to change things up but i kind of feel that you also need to be careful not to be too harsh or not to be too forward you know do things a, a bit on the gentle side and this could be a situation wherein you know some form of trust issue can come up um that can you know create some form of difficulty in having a very smooth communication with someone so um this is just a um a slight warning of some kind that you know yes you are in the right path but you need to do it the right way you know yes you're acting upon your feelings but it, you cannot just rush everything you know that kind of stuff so you cannot just force yourself into things and you need to to acknowledge what the other person's gonna say as a whole so so if there is a trust issue that is bubbling in the surface between the two of you especially if you had a history with that person already then this could be a situation wherein you might need to mend all of those bitterness talks about the past can occur and you might need to sort those out so that there is going to be a new beginning of some kind so basically what we see over here overall just to give you a breakdown is that there is some form of hesitancy frustration 
in terms of connecting with someone and you might be wanting to to write a letter um, have some form of phone call or messages of some kind to maybe fix the relationship you know there has been some form of setback a lack of comp compromise of some kind and this is a time where in you know you need to get yourself out there and connect with that person whoever that person is and to maybe settle a score or settle some form of issue that you had in the past because th it shows us that there is a hesitancy you know there is a reason why you're being hesitant and in dealing with this there's a reason why you're hesitant to maybe to communicate with that person to talk with that person and maybe it is because there has been some form of spat between the two of you which you may know how to resolve or may not know but the key the key here is careful communication and not just say things out of nowhere you know you need to be a little bit more sensitive and learn how to listen as well give room to listen and you know balance give and take when it comes to relationship like say what you feel but allow the other person to say what they truly feel as well don't just be selfish you know having being the boss alone and not listening with the other person so um yeah so just be mindful of that but with that knight of swords coming into the future it definitely uh sorry page of swords um that definitely gives us a message wherein some form of message can come in or you might be the one doing that messaging it's just that that conversation may not become very smooth um it will take a lot of you know a lot of charming talks or a lot of honesty talks so that things in the past can be smoothed over that kind of energy so um yeah um yeah this is your reading <laughs> aries i kind of feel that this is a month we're in it's not really a game changer month but it is a month we're in you decide you know you decide to do something about it to do something whatever it is that you are in concern about to do something about the connection and an acquaintance or a relationship partner it really will vary but it's telling us here that you know it's going to be within your control whatever you do because you are the one who is going to take action for sure so um yeah that's it guys for this reading i do hope that this gives insight and clarity to your situation and um yeah don't forget that this is just a general reading so it may or may not tune in for the rest of every aries out there so um yeah that's it for me and i'll see you guys again next month goodbye